Hello and welcome back to the 82 and 0 show. I am your host Tris. Today we have a very interesting topic that we will be discussing, not debating. So make sure to like and subscribe if you're new. And yeah, let's get it. Cue that intro music. Welcome back to the 8210 show. I'm your other host Daniel, and today we have a very 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 special episode before. And this episode what we are talking about today has never been done on the history of YouTube or ESPN. So, or anything or any other sports channel. Ever. So, Driss, <laughs> ever. Caveman might have done it, but you know. So, Driss Bro, this topic wasn't around when Caveman were around. Do you want to introduce the topic? All right, all right, so look, basically what we will be doing is, first I want to give a quick shout out to Jimmy Hyrulo. He inspired this video. So he made a video. Yes, we are basically continuing. Yes, he made video. a video about nine months ago about something, a little event that might have changed the course of NBA history. It was in May, March 28, 1995 where Jordan potentially came down with a career-ending injury, but luckily he didn't. In that video, he said that it would lead to potentially the Bulls drafting Kobe Bryant. So what we want to do is we want to predict the entirety of Kobe Bryant's career and how the NBA would look. We will be doing it between 1997 and 2003, the year that LeBron gets drafted. So for the first part. This video will take place in multiple parts. Yes, well, also, talk. as as we've seen so far, it changes the course of a lot of things that happen in the NBA. A lot of very important things happen. Yes. So, so, let us know what you think will happen at the end of Kobe's career in the comment section. Okay. Yep, so, but first, let's go to our prediction. So, Jay. What are, what's your prediction? Uh, I see more MVPs for Kobe, better all-around stats. I don't see as much playoff success. That's what I see. How about you? Okay. I, I see a very similar thing. I see him getting um, very good stats since he's, you know, replacing Jordan a lot more. He is still going to get very, very good stats, and he still has Phil Jackson coaching him during his rookie years so that he could still excel to what he is. But I don't think that the team around him will be able to let him have playoff success or get many champions. I, championship. I predict maybe one in his future. Really? Okay. Yeah. So after doing the research, we will be discussing his 1997 season for the entire league. I'll be covering the rookie stats for Kobe, yep. and I'll show you how I did these calculations. So, and I should probably specify just before we do this, that if we're saying 1997 season, we mean 1996, 1997. If we're saying 2001 season, we're meaning 2001 season. Go ahead. Yes, everybody knows that. Um, <laughs> so basically- <laughs> I didn't when we started. <laughs> I I went on basketball reference that was the main source we used for this and I looked at the 1997 Bulls roster and there was no other shooting guard besides Michael Jordan so what I did was just take Jordan's minutes and apply them to Kobe so Kobe technically replaced Michael Jordan he didn't do as well as Jordan would but he replaced him so I adjusted the minutes I adjusted everything so in Kobe's rookie season He'd be averaging 18.6 points, 3.2 assists per game, 4.6 rebounds, 1.7 steals, and 0.7 blocks on 41% field goal shooting and 37% from the three. He That puts him in the rookie of the year debate, especially alongside Scottie Pippen and Dennis Rodman, and they make it to the playoffs that year, having a 56 and 26 record uh, how I did the winning, I basically took Kobe's total minutes, adjusted it to what his new minutes would be, and I applied that to Kobe's win shares, and that would be 5.2. Then I took Jordan's win shares from that season and subtracted it 
by Kobe's. And that's how many games the Bulls would lose compared to the original record. So the Bulls' original record was about 69 wins. And you subtract that by 13. Without Jordan, that means they have a 56 and 26 record. And I know stats won't tell the whole story because this is uh, an NBA season and there's an infinite amount of possibilities, but we're just going to try to keep this as st statistically correct as possible. So, Daniel, you want to do the yeah. playoffs? Sure. So, basically, this is what we believe would happen. This is as statistically probable as what we believe could happen. That would make sense. So, there's a possibility that any random bench player could pop off and then change all of this. However, we're not going along with those chances, we're going along with the more probable chances. So, by the end of the season, the most valuable player that year was Carl Malone. The Rookie of the Year was Allen Iverson, even, it wasn't Kobe, even with his impressive stats. And the Defensive Player of the Year was Dikembe Mutombo. Sixth Man of the Year, John Starks. And Most Improved Player was Isaac Austin. The so, for the all... Uh... Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead. So for the All-NBA First Team, uh, it was Karl Malone and Grant Hill at forwards, Hakeem Olajuwon at center, and Gary Payton and Tim Hardaway at guards. So nothing much different there, except since Jordan is not in, Gary Payton took his spot in the first team. Now, for uh, the All-Defensive First Team, at forward it was Scottie Pippen still of the Bulls, Carl Malone, Dikembe Mutombo, and instead of Jordan, it was John Stockton and Gary Payton. That year, for the All-NBA Rookie first team, uh, it was Allen Iverson, Stephen, Marbury, Bear, Stephen Marbury, Sharif Abdurrahim, Marcus Camby, and Chicago Bulls' own Kobe Bryant. It's, okay, yeah. <laughs> the Bulls get John Thomas it, in the draft. Yes, that's who they drafted that year. For the... Also... Oh, you want me to do the playoffs? Uh, I'll just summarize the draft quickly. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, at, in the draft, Tim Duncan was selected first overall by the San Antonio Spurs, and Tracy McGrady was selected ninth overall by the Toronto Raptors. So nothing, nothing, no big changes. For the 1997... NBA playoffs our predictions were Kobe with the help of Scottie Pippen and the Bulls roster he would excel in the playoffs he would do better than uh, he originally did he'd be averaging 23 points per game 3.4 assists 3.4 rebounds his defensive stats went down quite a bit but that's not that big of a deal Without Jordan, I don't see the Bulls even making it to the finals. I could see them making yeah. it to the conference finals. Because in the first round, they go up against the Charlotte Hornets. I see that going to the Bulls in around five games. And Bulls versus the Knicks, I see that easily going to seven. With the help of Scottie Pippen and uh, Dennis Rodman. And it's still Kobe at the end of the day. Uh, I see them beating the Knicks in a seven-game series. And against the Heat, I see them getting maybe one win if they're lucky, but the Heat are just too much. And the Heat will move on to face the Jazz in the NBA Finals, and I see the Jazz taking down the Miami Heat in six games. And the Finals MVP of that series will be nobody else other than Karl Malone. What you'll notice a lot during this, in this alternate universe, is Karl Malone really becomes a top-notch player really becomes one of the greatest of all time. Yes, especially with in this alternate universe, being second all without time. Jordan being there. Yeah, it kind of makes you think about uh, how Karl Malone was quite an underrated player in that era because it was just in the shadow of Jordan constantly. That's that's fair, but he's still second all time in scoring. He's that at he has that under his belt. Yeah. So for the draft. We summarized it. The Bulls got John Thomas. Some notable picks. Tim Duncan was selected by the San Antonio Spurs. Tracy McGrady was selected by the ninth overall Toronto Raptors. Oh, also for what we did with the draft, we just took the Bulls' wins that season and uh, whichever team had the most similar wins to the Chicago Bulls 
the Bulls got that pick, and uh, we moved on the draft. We'll be putting a, a picture of the original draft and the new draft in uh, the video, so you'll be able to see what really changed in the draft. Now, moving on to the 1998 season, Kobe, he does, in the regular season, he does pretty good. He's averaging almost 23 points per game, 3.7 rebounds, 4.6 assists, 42% efficiency, 39% from three. His three points. So he's been having quite a quite a decent, quite a good season, quite a good uh, yeah. career yeah. so far, especially starting off as a rookie. Yeah, especially since in the, the original timeline, Kobe didn't get many minutes as a rookie. He uh, yeah. only so averaged seven and a half points. So since here the Bulls don't have a replacement shooting guard, uh, Kobe is basically taking over the role that Michael Jordan had in these first two seasons. Yep. So moving on to the 1998 season, I already named you Kobe's stats. Kobe's playoff stats would somewhat go down and it kind of disappointed me because you know he's my favorite player in history and he's going down in the playoffs. That's not representing well. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so the go off at Kobe, just go off at alternate universe Kobe. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> the Bulls' record would be 52 wins that season. I did the same thing with the win shares. Nothing changed, even though it's an infinite amount of possibilities. But you know, give us, cut us some slack. We don't have NBA 2K20 to do the simulation for us. Thank yes, you, basketball. Unless reference. one of you guys want to buy us NBA 2K20, move on, Tris. Okay, we're going to cut this out for sure. All right. Um, <laughs> I'm so not cutting that. Now, the Bulls make it to the second round, but I see a second round exit versus the Indiana Pacers. And I do see the Indiana Pacers moving on to the finals with Reggie Miller, but they still fall to the Utah Jazz with Karl Malone yet again. He is yeah. putting himself in the GOAT debate. And once again, Continue. he is the MVP that year, instead of Jordan. Yeah, obviously. Also, Rookie of the Year, uh, Tim Duncan got it with the Spurs. Defensive Player of the Year was Dikembe Mutombo. Sixth Man of the Year was Danny Manning. Uh, most Improved Player was Allen Henderson. And the Coach of the Year, Larry Bird. <laughs> on the All NBA first team, Kaka! not much change. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I had to. I'm sorry. Keep going. I've never been so more disappointed than a person. Uh, <laughs> in the All NBA uh, first team, not much changes. It's still Tim Duncan and Carmelo at forward. Shaq is still dominating at center, and at guard, it's Tim Hardaway instead of Jordan and Gary Payton. Okay. On the All Defensive first team, once again. Uh, Jordan gets replaced by Mookie Blaylock. Who? Um, it's Mucci. Yeah. Is it Mucci? Mucci. No, it's Mucci. Where? <laughs> I might Mookie. have pronounced it's Mookie. it. It's Mookie. It's Mookie. It's Mookie. If you know who this guy is, let us know in the comments below. Uh, Gary Payton. And then Dikembe Mutombo, once again at center. And Carl Malone and Chicago Bulls' Scottie Pippen at forward for the defensive first team. And for the All NBA Rookie First Team, not not anything different. It's still Tim Duncan, Keith Van Horn, say Drew Nisilgoskis, Ron Mercer, and Brevin Knight. Yeah. Now, in the draft, something that I was very excited to see, and I think that Drift was also I very excited to see. I was not excited, excited to, to see this. You know, I was hoping Kobe <laughs> wouldn't get the awful team he had in his prime, but you know, they keep on coming back. Yep. So basically, Tyron Lu gets drafted to the Bulls to be reunited with Kobe. We're gonna trade. I, I was very. <laughs> we're gonna trade. Yeah, we're gonna take over as the GM. Sorry, Jerry Krauss. Yeah. You know, nobody. I'm, I'm bet nobody knew about Jerry Krauss until. Uh, and before Last Dance, you know you're probably right there. Yeah. Unless you're some diehard uh, basketball. Sorry player. if we offended you, diehard Bulls fans. All right. Yeah. So. Summary of the draft, since Carter still goes to Toronto and Dirk Nowitzki goes to Dallas once again. There we go. Now, now oh. for this season, this season is uh, different. I will be telling everybody the stat. Oh, well, I just dropped something. Sorry if that, like, irritated you. 
Okay. For the 1999 season, this is where Pippen leaves and Rodman leaves. Rodman. So you could expect a uh, their record to not exactly be so... Now, uh, this is where people could get at me for my calculations. And I don't want you guys to. Cut me some slack, all right? Please don't. So this is where Kobe has his own team for the first time in his career. Because in real life, he was with Shaq. And Shaq had the ball in the low block a lot. So for his points, I also took his usage rate and boosted that up a bit because he's his own man. To a time where Kobe was the man of his own team. So I did that and he's averaging 21 points, four assists, five, oh no, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. 27 so points, 5.2 assists, yeah. 5.6 like, rebounds, 1.5 steals, one block, 45.5% from the field. Let's get it, <laughs> Big Kobe. man stats. Big man hey. stats. I like that from you. I like hey. that from you. Yes. Chomu's boss. But, but, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> what was the record? 18 that wins. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I did. Okay, look. We should probably uh, mention, though. That this was a 50-game season, was it not? Yes, it was. So, you know, it's kind of like having a 30-win team. Which is still not very I mean, good. It's not, it's not insanely bad. Thank you for reminding me. I almost thought Kobe was like one of the worst players in the league. See, now these are very good... With 27 points. <laughs> yeah, because he can't carry his team to a good record. These are only using stats. I'm pretty sure he could if he was, you know, Mamba mode. But it is what it is. You know. Yeah. It, oh. it is what it is. It is, it is what it is. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I'm going to put that meme. It is what it is. Please don't. <laughs> hey, I'm the editor, don't. bud. What I'm are you going to do? I'm the editor, bud. What are you going to do? Until I get the... Ado are Why are we do? arguing about this on record? <laughs> All right, anyways. So, for this season, once again, MVP goes to Carl Malone. Did he win the finals? Did he win finals MVP again? Tell me, um, Drew. Whoa. Um, I believe so. Let me just check that. 1999? No. That was the Your Spurs. Those were the Spurs who won the title. Oh, it was. The Spurs with Tim Duncan. Wow, good job, Tim Duncan. Was it? Yes, it was. I, My fault. I, 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 I'm I, sorry. I was. That was bad. Okay, let's continue. Winner. Who won? Yeah, winner was Utah Jazz. No, it was the Spurs. Oh, so you were. Phil oh. Jackson okay, leaves sure. the Bulls for the Lakers. Kobe Bryant gets his first All Star. Yeah. Bulls draft Richard Hamilton, and I am so happy. Rip Hamilton is on the Bulls because we finally get something good out of it and run our test. Mm -hmm. Out of all the players that Kobe used to play with that I wanted on his team, Ron Artest is the guy, and we don't get to have him. Instead, in the future, quick spoiler alert, we get Atlanta Chris Mim. Park. Yay. Why, why, are you, why are you spoiling it? Bro, it's that? Chris Mim. It's nobody was excited for that. I was very excited yes, for that. The... I got you, Chris Mim. Um, yes, other things that happened that year was that uh, Manny Ginobili does not go to the Spurs. He goes to the Utah Jazz, but he doesn't play for his first three seasons anyway. I don't know why. So that doesn't matter. Uh, also, because of this alternate uh, universe, Bulls don't get uh, Elton Brand, who happened to be a future Rookie of the Year. Well, rookie of the Year, the upcoming season, not future Rookie of the Year. Yeah. Okay. Also, so for this season, uh, Rookie of the Year went to Vince Carter. Defensive Player of the Year went to Alonzo Mourning. Sixth Man and Most Improved Player went to Daryl Armstrong. Uh, sportsmanship Award, I really want to win this one, uh, with Hersey there was a, Hack There Hawkins. was a Sportsmanship Award? Yep. There was a Sportsmanship Award back in the NBA during those years. Tyron Lue. The All-NBA First Team. Uh, Tim Duncan was at forward. Carl Malone was also at forward. Alonzo Mourning was uh, with the Miami Heat. Allen Iverson and Jason Kidd were all part of the All-NBA first team. So what I've noticed is that Carl Malone 
really gets like a Jordan type career if Jordan was injured. Yep. During that time. And you know what's funny? In this alternate universe. You know what's funny? Yeah. Carl Malone with Jordan gone has the same exact stats as Jordan if he hadn't finished his career. Like same exact accolades, like yeah. three MVPs, three championships. Jordan's yeah. still a beast though. Jordan's still I like know. with those still kind of around top five all time. You think? So? Anyway. That yeah, that would be a very top, interesting discussion LeBron's for another top time. five all time for the GOAT debate with those accolades. Jordan, like, if LeBron's number, like, around number two, number three all time, he has the same accolades as Jordan without that, so I'd see Jordan being top five. Mm-hmm. LeBron only has three anyway, rings, Chief. I'm sorry. That would be an interesting... I'm never saying that he's the best all time, but... Yeah, but he's um, talked about it a lot, so I don't see... He, anyways, this is not about LeBron yet. Eh? Yet. Yet. Yes, look forward to that in the upcoming episode. Yes, also look forward to On potential this. IRL 1v1, where I'm not allowed to take yes. a shot within three feet of the rim, because apparently I just mm. dominate, and that's kind of You're a, tall! It's offending. You're tall! It, it, offend, it offends anyway, me. It's not like half of your shots are uh, in the key. Bro, you know what? I'm going to go... Fadeaways. Uh, I can't. We'll have to see. Let us let us let us know in the comments and like this video if you guys want to be a uh, IRL. Yeah, drop a like, and we could do more yeah. in the future if you guys want. Just subscribe, mm-hmm. please. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> let us know if you guys uh, want to see any topics or anything. Just tell us in the comments below, and we'll try to get them done for you. Okay, so wait. For the All NBA Third Team, at guard, Kobe yeah. Bryant made it this year. That was his breakout season. And I don't see why not. It was, it was a very good one for him. John Stockton also made it, Hakeem Olajuwon, Anto- Antonio McDiaz, and Kevin Garnett also made it. Not on the NBA All-Rookie first team, nothing really uh, substantial happened. Vince Carter, Paul Pierce, Jason Williams, Mike Bibby, and Matt Harpin. So, I have to say that that was his best year yet. Yeah, well, obviously. But now, who's ready to listen to the... the- um, 2000 stats. We're playing yep, basketball. We're playing Please basketball. Please stop making, giving me things that I have to cut out. Thank you. He's dropping 29 and a half points per game. Six and a half Ooh. assists. Six point seven yeah. rebounds. One point six steals uh, and almost one block. Just half, like is it one point one point point? Shit, forget it. Zero point nine blocks. Forget it. <laughs> I messed it up. <laughs> Can we do it's that? So worth it. I'm gonna do no, that I'm again. No, I'm still keeping that. <laughs> Too bad I'm keeping that. At most, uh, at most valuable player that year was uh, Shaq on the sure. Lakers. Um, co-rookies of the year was Elton Brandt, who was on a different team than the Bulls, and Steve Francis. Defensive player was of the year was Alonzo Mourning. Sixth man of the year, Rodney Rogers. Most improved player, Jalen Rose. Whatever you could research these stats on your own. Oh, and so, um, yeah, so um, I checked the original Bulls record. I also took Rip Hamilton's win shares, added it with Kobe's, and they end up being a 29 win team. I also took out Ron Artest's win shares. That was 2.3, so I subtracted that. So they're a 29 win team at the end of the day, which is very unfortunate. You seem so proud of Kobe's that. <laughs> No, because Kobe's doing everything he can, but the supporting cast won't do anything. I'm getting flashbacks from 2006 when I was about one years old, and I, I don't remember the games, but still. I'm sorry. I should not have said that. <laughs> I'm, I'm, nah, getting, I'm getting mad. No, wait, man. we're going to the playoffs. How do, they, how do they do now that you're blaming the whole supporting cast? They didn't make the playoffs, man. Ah, <laughs> uh, you know, that's... <laughs> That's disappointing, but you know, it's... Disappointing? It wasn't expected. Kobe was disappointing so this he, year? How dare you, man? The Bulls were, man. Kobe's part of the Bulls, Don't right? Don't disrespect the Bulls of Kobe for that. Um, right, whatever. So, we're how did the playoffs go? Who won? They didn't make... Oh, yeah, I thought you were talking... <laughs> My bad. <laughs> um, I know they don't make... Well, you know, for the playoffs... What happens in the playoffs? The Pacers win the championship. That's true. The Pacers win. No. Yes, they make it out of the East. But the, but since the, they go up against the Blazers most likely, if I'm not mistaken, because Lakers don't have Shaq. Yeah. 
And that leads to Reggie Miller getting that ring. Yeah. Good job. Yeah, good job, you know? Miller. So what already changed is that Lakers lost a chip because Lakers do not have uh, Kobe this year. They only yep. had Shaq. And so because of yeah. that, they were not able to win that year. And don't say they could have won without Kobe. I know Shaq was a monster that season, but still, he was getting hack a shack late in games. It's I not happening. I feel like you're talking to someone. I feel like you're talking to someone directly. He knows who he someone is. Someone specific. He knows who he is, though. He knows who he is. Anyway, sure. Okay. So that year, as we said, Chris Mim was drafted by the Bulls. <laughs> Chris Mim. So you know, quality player, if you ask me. But you know, I don't know why Chris doesn't doesn't think so. Chris Mim. Yeah. Do you have you ever heard of? Don't even lie. Have you ever heard of Chris Mim? What? Um. Oh, what? Uh, you, uh, no. Okay, do the all NBA teams. Get that out of the way for 2000. Sure. So, for the all NBA team, where did they go? Oh, yeah. Um, so, all NBA first team was Tim Duncan, Kevin Garnett, Shaq, still made it, still dominating the league, Gary Payton, and Jason Kidd. Nothing different there. The all NBA third team, however, it was Chris Webber, Vince Carter, David Robinson, Eddie Jones, and Kobe. Last but not least, Kobe. Wait, I said it first. You should have said that, man. NBA all defensive first team (laughs) was Tim Duncan from the Spurs, Kevin Garnett, Minnesota Timberwolves, Alonzo Mourning, Gary Payton, and. Jason. So for the NBA All Rookie First Team, Elton Brand, who we should have had, D. Francis, Lamar Odom, Wally, Scissorback. Wall. I have Scissorback. no clue how to pronounce that. Scissorback. Scissorback. That's. Wait, wait, wait. Hold there's up, hold no up. I. Sound it out, though. S-Z-Z-Z- you gotta sound it out. Scissorback. There we go. There's S Z C Z E R B I A K. Scissor, scissor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we're just disrespecting him right now. And Andrew Miller. Andre so, Miller, Daniel. That, Andre Miller. <laughs> My goodness. Yeah, I know. So, was that the year that Tony Parker was drafted, or was that the next one? Potentially. I think it was 2001. We'll see. So for the 2001 season, that's where I enjoyed a little more. This was Kobe's kind of breakout year. This is where Kobe, you know, averaged more points than Shaq in the playoffs. But who knows, these might not make it to the playoffs this year. So that's kind of unfortunate. Anyways. Silent cries into Bill. <laughs> yes. He's averaging 29.5 points per game yet again. 5.1 assists per game, 6 rebounds per game, 1.7 steals per game, and 0.6 blocks per game. He's a beast. So, the stats are very, very impressive yet again. Another understatement? They're godly stats. I I, I wouldn't say that, but you know, they're okay. quite they're quite impressive. Quite impressive. What are so, you? Doing? You want to say the playoffs, and I'll say... Actually, no, I'll say the... So first, at MVP, was Allen Iverson. At rookie Bro, I didn't even tell you how many Mike wins Miller. they got. I didn't even tell you how many wins they got. Wait, let me finish. Go into a specific... You're always interrupting. Cool. They got 30 wins. Carry on. <laughs> was that so important that we needed to say that? Yes, we did, because they want to know if they make the playoffs, right? Bulls fans out yeah, there. Yeah, I think it was obvious that they don't. I know you guys um, missed Ryan Derrick Rose, but you got Kobe. He's better. I'm sorry. I, I, I like Derrick Rose, too. <laughs> Keep going. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, taking, I'm taking too much of your time. Go ahead. Most valuable player was Allen Iverson. Rookie of the year was Mike Miller. Defensive player of the year came back to be Dikembe Mutombo. Sixth man of the year was Aaron Mackay. Mickey, Most can you true. read? <laughs> can you read? I'm pronouncing, I'm pronouncing it myself. 
Mo it's like me saying most improved player, uh, Tracy McGrady. Uh, Tra Tracy it's McGrady. An a. Coach it's of an the a. Year, Larry Brown. Uh, and Sportsmanship Award, David Robinson. Good job, my guy. Hey, wasn't that guy in the Navy? What a goat. <laughs> David <laughs> Robinson NBA was in the Navy. <laughs> All NBA first team. At forward was Tim Duncan and Chris Webber. And then at center was Shaq. Yeah. At guards, it was Allen Iverson and Jason hey, uh, Kidd. The alcoholic. At All NBA third team, at forward was Dirk and Malone. At center was David Robinson, and guards were Gary Payton and our own Kobe. Don't talk. Thank you. Good boy. You got it done. You, you did it this time. You didn't ruin the whole choreography of this stuff. Go. Never call me. Never call me good boy. Never. Oh. All defensive first team was Tim Duncan, Kevin Garnett, once again at center. Kembe Matumbo, Gary Payton, and Jason Kidd. At all defensive second team was Bruce Bowen, PJ Brown, Shaquille O'Neal at center, Doug Christie, and Kobe. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, at hey, Kobe NBA, and Shaq are reunited. Well, they were never just united. On different They're teams. united. <laughs> at different teams. Yeah. Um, on NBA All Rookie First Team was. Mike Miller, Kenyon Martin, Mark Jackson, Mark Peterson, and Darius Miles. Now with this, the 2001 NBA, is this 2001 or 2002? Uh, this is 2002, thanks. Who yes. won the 2001 chip? Wait, this was, this one 2000 to 2001. No, this, sorry, this is 2001. Yeah, but Chris Webber won no, Chris Prober should have won in 2002. Oh, we didn't do the playoffs. My bad. Okay, so with that being um, said, the Lakers would go on. Allen Iverson gets a chip, bro. Yeah. Oh my. Yes. Yes. All my favorite I've never seen you so, so happy. <laughs> she had so many emotions in one second there. All my favorite friends Alan, are wait. doing so good, oh, bro. Do Alan Iverson gets a chip. Yes. I'm so happy. Wait, who do they go yeah. up? Uh, yeah, Alan Iverson gets a chip, bro. Yeah, I know. I thought, like, yes. It's yeah. amazing, See, man. so I'm aren't so you happy Kobe's off the Lakers to that? Instead of Kobe getting a uh, champion, uh, it's Allen Iverson. Bro, Kobe's getting better stats, bro. I don't really care. Like, you, you, like, when we had the Kobe versus LeBron debate, all you were doing is stats. You, like, completely disregarded rings. So, you know what? Good, good job, Kobe. Good job. Yeah. Good I, job. I say Kobe's better here than he is in uh, Lakers. But, uh, yeah. Stats, like, yes, but he's not going to have a better legacy because he doesn't have a championship. He's going to be one of those. Like keep going. <laughs> yeah, so keep now going. we are at the 2002 the... season. Yes, sir. Why'd I do yes. that? I don't know. <laughs> what? <laughs> what are you saying? Keep going. So the oh, NBA. The a... Wait, Daniel. The Bulls yeah. pick um a guy from Senegal. Yeah. No, that's that's a lot. <laughs> No, that's the 2001 season. They pick a guy oh, from Senegal. Oh, yes, they pick a guy from Senegal. I wonder how much he helped. Oh, wait, he didn't help at all. Um, yes. So, for um, that year, the NBA champions were Sacramento Kings. Yes. Okay, now look. That year, for 2002, we're going to do Kobe's stats first. All right? Sure. So, in 2002... Yeah. The, the man, the myth, the legend. I'm trying to find his stats. He averages 31, 5, 6, 1.4, and 1.4. Sorry, that wait there. I wrong. think that deserves to be... I think No, I think that deserves to be repeated. That's how good that is. That is very... Oh, these are his playoff stats. My bad. He averages 26.1, 5.7 assists. 5.5 rebounds, 1.5 steals, and 0.4 blocks. My bad, guys. So it's a bit of a decrease, though. <laughs> yeah, it is. Kobe! That year for uh, the play, the playoffs. 
Yes. That year, LA Lakers were supposed to win that. But in yes. fact, they ended up they having don't. 43 wins. Yeah. Yay. So in the end, it ended up being Sacramento win. Oh no, the Bulls don't draft a guy from Senegal. They drafted Hiro Turku. I forgot, my bad. Yeah. They needed a small forward because Tony Kukoc was gone. Yeah. Yeah. So they end up getting so, 43 wins. They are the third seed, the sixth seed. They go up against the Celtics, and they're kind of good teams with Paul Pierce. Yeah, so fact, I see them going down fact, in seven. Though. Yes, fun fact though, Turkoglu is actually ends up being a very good player for this team. Um, and solid role player. Yeah. Yeah, keep going. Nothing wrong with that. Just keep going. Come on, man. We got one season left. Okay. No, we didn't say the playoffs yet. So Sacramento wins that instead yeah, of the Lakers. Yeah, Chris Webber's Finals MVP. Yes, and uh, so the Bulls get a first round exit in seven. Bulls get the and 16th then this pick. Year, and they draft. Yiri Welsh. Welsh. I'm pretty Yiri sure Welsh. it's Yiri Welsh. Yiri Welsh. You, you saying it like it's uh, Irish? Jerry Jir- Welsh. Um, yes. I don't know. I never heard of this guy. That's most of the draft picks we got besides Hito Turkoglu and Rip Hamilton. So, now, now, moving for on the to 2003 the, season. The last season we will be covering in this video. Yes. The big it. So the 2003 season stats. Kobe averages 31 points per game, six assists per game. 6.9 rebounds per game, 2.2 steals, 0.8 blocks, 47% from the field. That's what I'm talking about, Kobe. Very MVP impressive. stats right That's there. A very MVP. impressive stats. MVP. Except what are you? Does he get MVP? Look at this man, he doctor. Very man. impressive. Dr. Seuss, very impressive. He does. It's fire stats. He does not get MVP, though. At the end it's of the lit day. like a fire pit. But Boy. he doesn't get MVP. <laughs> He does. What, what is that expression? <laughs> I need a new I'm, host. I'm having. Uh, uh, <laughs> excuse me. I'm the one who came up with this idea. All right, Chief. Shout they out they May twenty eighth. Um. They don't. That's a very exact date. I just guessed. Um, I'm serious. Um. No. Wait. That it couldn't be. It couldn't have been May twenty eighth, right? It was like May something. Cause like we released the trailer June first. What do you? What do you? What do you I don't know, bro. Um. I'm enjoying this way too much, by the way. Yes. I am. Okay. So, who wins MVP that season, though? Who wins MVP? It's a yeah. really tight race between Kevin Garnett and Kobe. And I, I end, personally, I think Kobe should have won, but we're going to give it to Kevin Garnett because we're going to get like yelled out for being too biased. So, you know what? He knows who he is. <laughs> Anyways. Way too many episodes. Yeah. Uh... What's very interesting that year is that, well, we're supposed to be the champion San Antonio Spurs. Wait, I'm, 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 I'm gonna do it. I took the win shares of Turkoglu, Turko, that's how you, sp- Turkoglu, took the win shares of Rip Hamilton, took the win shares, Kobe had insane win shares, he had like 15 win shares with that season. And they end up being a 56 win team. Very They're impressive. The first death. seed in the East. Yo, somebody they, hire us as GMs. Yeah, somebody hire bro, us. We as didn't GMs. even make any of the decisions, bro. S- hire us as like sports analysts. It, what you got, Stephen A? <laughs> what Stephen A got on us? We are so yeah, no, exactly we're nothing. pushing it too much. We're pushing it too much. Okay, it too much. they're they're fifty. They're a fifty-six win team, which is amazing. They're, they're the first impressive. seed in the East, and they are tied for the best record in the entire league. Because yep. with that. Chris Webber and the Sacramento Kings will get past San Antonio because San Antonio does not have Ginobili and they don't have Tony Parker. Tony Parker and Ginobili ended up getting drafted to a different team because of this. Yes. You see how different it is? Maybe LeBron won't get bullied in 2007 by Tim, Tim Duncan. He'll get bullied by Kobe in the Eastern Conference semifinals. <laughs> Yay! Some, somebody is holding. Somebody's holding a grudge. Yes, I am holding a grudge. Um, I have an evil so, smile on my face right now. So that year, instead of Tim Duncan getting MVP, it is Kevin Garnett. Rookie of the year that year is Amare Stoudemire. Stoudemire. 
start start of mine. Oh, we could have gotten that guy in the player. draft, bro. Shit. Keep yeah, going. Gone, Defensive player of the year was Ben Wallace. Sixth man of the year, Bobby Jackson. Most improved player, Pow Pow. Gilbert Arena. Pow Pow. <laughs> yeah. Coach, <laughs> <Get> of... <laughs> <laughs> coach of the year, I feel like we should give to us. But it ended up uh, We weren't the going... coach, bro. We simulate. Like we don't coach. I, f I feel like the coach. Why do you feel like so the coach? So it ended up still going to Greg Popovich, though. All right. Yeah, that's so fair. He's all... one of the greatest coaches yeah. ever. So... All, oh, yeah, go ahead. Playoffs. Playoffs are very so, interesting. <laughs> Kobe's playoff stats. All around the game. Wait, wait, wait. Goes. Wait, wait, wait. That laugh sounded like Kawhi. <laughs> so much. I'm telling you. <laughs> anyway, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> Stop with that laugh. Stop with that laugh. Wait, you said I'm fill. Oh, I I'm, th I'm telling you, go ahead. That's what I heard. Okay, his scoring goes uh, up, but everything else goes a bit down. Not by a lot. He's averaging 32 points per game, 5.2 assists, 5.1 rebounds, 1.5 steals, and 0.1 blocks. But the Bulls, they're sweeping Milwaukee. We don't even know who's on that team besides Ray Allen. Shout out Ray Allen. It's his birthday at the time of this recording. How do I know that? Shout out NBA. Um, is it actually? Yeah, it is. Oh, I, I saw an IG post. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty sick. Uh, yeah. For it's also Ben Simmons' birthday. Yeah. In the bubble. <laughs> yeah. Those vlogs are so funny. <laughs> um. So. So yeah. They go up against. I'm seeing Philly, and they take down Philly. They go up against the New Jersey Nets in the Eastern, in the Eastern Conference, Conference finals. finals. And they move on, then they go up against the Kings. But guess what? The Kings don't have playoff Hito Turkoglu. But we this. do. But we do. We do. And the Bulls, you don't even say I'm biased right now. You want to check? It, this is like Kobe, right? Versus Chris Webber. This is Kobe, right, Chief? Don't say we, but we're being biased. We already gave Calm you down. guys the MVP. Calm down, it's okay. Don't say Calm we're being down. biased. It's okay. Calm down, it's okay. Shh. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah, you're finna catch these hands. <laughs> <laughs> Why'd I say that? I'm so I <laughs> catch Bulls win the champion. Woohoo! I sound like Troy Dan. Cuh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shout out Troy Dan. He won't even be. Bulls oh, win the, uh, Bulls win the championship. And guess who's the finals MVP? Chris Mim. Yeah, averaging a solid 0.4 points per game with <laughs> one minute played the entire game. Every game of the six game series. So now yeah. he's a quality role play. No, yeah. Finals MVP uh, goes to Kobe. Finals easily. MVP goes to Kobe. It's like who else would it have been? So you know what, Kobe yeah. not getting carried by Shaq, man. He's the man of his own team. And he won yeah. a chip in six years it took him. Faster than Jordan, yeah, faster him. than LeBron. So you know what? Let's get it, Kobe. Yep. He's on pace. So now, He's on that pace to be So far, the season, the season is looking uh, quite... The league is looking quite different. The Spurs aren't such a powerhouse as they were before. So we don't know, first of all, if they're... It, we don't know if LeBron's going to go to the to Cleveland even. And yeah. if he does, they're not going to meet him in the finals. However, he will probably meet Kobe and his Bulls in the playoffs. Yep. So, this apart, Kobe Bryant in the real world at the end of 2003 had about around 8,000 to 9,000 points. In this alternate reality, he has a total of 14,582 total points already because he gets minutes he gets the ball yes sir wow boys you know he's having he's having a very good season yeah and i'm very interested to see as we move closer to the present yeah. day and this is based off stats by the way this is stats yeah this is as statistically probable as we could manage yeah it's not a 2k simulation so lebron fans I mean, if Kobe got as many minutes as LeBron, shit, hey, I don't think it's a debate whether who's the better scorer, scorer. 
I'm, I'm having fun. I'm don't, sorry. Don't, don't, don't bring up this debate. I'm sorry. Into this one. We don't, we don't want to start yelling at each other towards the end. Yes. Again. <laughs> Stay tuned for the 2003 NBA Draft. Brought to you by the 82 and 0 Show. Thank you very much. Daniel, do the outro. Oh, thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for part two. And uh, stay tuned and let us know in the comments if you want to see a IRL 1v1 in the future. Thank you guys for watching. Comment down below any topics that you want us to discuss or any videos that you want us to make. Please like and subscribe. You could also go listen to our episodes on Spotify and iHeartRadio. Um, Shout out to... <laughs> I'm s you had to ruin it. Uh, uh, go, follow <laughs> go follow our socials in the description. And yeah, subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out.